Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning and uh, praise the Lord. Today being Tuesday, we are happy to be here again just to encourage us and to speak to us and to encourage you through the Word of God. Yesterday, I began a series on the promise of the Spirit. And I talked about the intimacy with God through the Spirit. And I want to continue with where I left yesterday. And it is important for you as a child of God to understand the mind of God. I want to say this, I know I'm talking to somebody who is born again. If you're not born again, I, peradventure through our sharing, you can also open your heart and tell God, I want to receive you. The goal of salvation, listen to me, my brother, my sister. The goal of salvation is intimacy with the father. It's just like marriage. The reason why a husband marries a wife is because of intimacy. And the goal of salvation is intimacy with the Father. We have received the Holy Spirit for this purpose. In other words, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you cannot enjoy the intimacy with the Father. And I wonder, those believers who don't believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I wonder how they enjoy the intimacy with the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us in the book of Acts of the Apostle, chapter 10, verses 44, Probably you'll allow me to read that portion of scripture to us for us just to get some understanding of what I'm talking about this morning. Acts chapter 10 and verses 44. The Bible says these beautiful words. Even as Peter was saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the message. As people were listening to the message, the Bible says the Holy Spirit fell upon on those who are listening to the message. The word fell upon, in the Greek term is epipito, which means to give a warm embrace. The Holy Spirit fell upon them. The Holy Spirit gave them a warm embrace. And while coming into a family of God, you can see this in Luke chapter 15, verses 20, about the prodigal son when he was received by the father. He was given a warm embrace. So when you receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit gives you a warm embrace. The Holy Spirit throws His arm around us. And I challenge you this morning. Maybe you feel lonely. Maybe you don't know what to do. I'm here to challenge you, child of God, that we have the sweet Holy Spirit who is able to come and throw His arm around us. And as he throws his arm around us, we begin enjoying the benefits of salvation and the things that comes with salvation. And I challenge you this morning. We are in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit joins us to Christ and makes his life a reality to us. The only way you can know the life of Christ in reality is when the Holy Spirit comes in us and blesses us as his children. Satan, listen to me somebody as I pray together with you. Satan will let us down all the time. He will let us do anything except have intimacy with the Father. And that's a secret. You can sing, you can preach, you can teach the word, you can go to church. But if you don't have intimacy with the Father, you are missing it. You are missing it. His opposition to this is not obvious but subtle. He comes slowly. He is happy for us to have gifts but not the giver. Imagine you are saying, I have the gift of healing, I have the gift of prophecy, but you don't have the giver of those gifts. You can be successful, you can be prosperous, you can have healing, but if you don't have the giver, you miss it. And that's what I'm saying. It is important to enjoy the intimacy with God. I want to pray with us this morning because intimacy with God through the Spirit is a biblical motivation for holiness. If you think of the word holiness, you must think of your intimacy with God. 
I want to pray with you. Maybe you're asking yourself, how can I enjoy my intimacy with God? The Bible is very clear. You need to embrace the promise of the Spirit. The promise has been given to us. The promise belongs to us in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you this morning with an open heart, praying the Lord, you will help us to have intimacy with you, O God, through the Spirit. I know the enemy is working 24-7 to make sure that we don't have intimacy with you. Give us that grace this morning, O God, to have intimacy with you. I want to thank you I want to bless you for my brothers, for my sisters, for this young girl, for this young boy who is choosing this morning to have intimacy with you. You are the giver of these gifts and we are praying the Lord. We will acknowledge you in our daily lives and our daily walks in the name of the Lord. Be glorified as your children go out to seek their daily bread. I pray that you are blessing them and you are showing yourself strong on their behalf in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit and the people of God say, Amen and Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.